What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at our base man beater out of the shotgun bunch tight end in the Indianapolis playbook. And the first play we're going to be taking a look at is the Indy Bunch, one of my favorite plays in Madden NFL 25. And we're going to take a look at why it is so effective for beating man to man coverage in Madden 25. Okay, guys, so. This play is compressed formation, which is step one to beating man coverage. And then it's also got some really nice routes we can use uh, with our route combinations, hot routes, things like that that we can do. And what we're going to do with this play is we're going to put Jermichael Finley here on a zig. Or you can put him on a streak depending on what you want to do. I like to put him on a zig. And then I'm going to proceed to put Eddie Lacy on a streak route. And what we're going to do is we're going to motion Randall Cobb to the left three steps. One, two, three, snap the ball. And our first read is going to be the zig route to Jermichael Finley. Typically, that's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage right off the bat. But if they're adjusting, uh, then we're going to progress to another read. So here again, we're going to motion snap Cobb. He's actually our second read, and we can pass lead him up. Typically, he's going to beat his man-to-man -man coverage. All right. And then if we want to go to our third read, that's going to be... Jordy Nelson coming across, and it basically creates a levels concept. And you see that that in route is going to beat it. And then our final read, um, or excuse me, our fourth read on this play is going to be the um, triangle receiver uh, on this little indie bunch uh, in route. And you see that if we just pass lead it to the right, he's going to be able to beat the man to man coverage. So everybody on this team is going to, or everybody on this route combination is going to be able to beat man to man coverage because we know about Eddie Lacy's route. We're just going to wait for him to cut up field. And as soon as that guy turns his back, we're going to take a shot. Typically, that's not a throw we're going to make all the time. But as a, a late read, we can have it really against cover zero. We really like it against that. Next play I want to take a look at real quick, halfback draw. If they're running max coverage defenses, you know, you just call the draw, trust it, run it like a sweep, just like we always do here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, nothing too complicated out of the halfback draw. Uh, just a simple, simple, simple run. Next play I want to take a look at is the tight end corner. And uh, this is a really good play, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to put Randall Cobb here on a hitch route. And we're going to put Eddie Lacy on a swing route. We're going to motion Eddie Lacy to the right, and we're going to wait for him to set. Once he makes his set, then we're going to snap the ball. Typically, what's going to happen is our first read on this play is going to be Randall Cobb. If he gets pressed, we're going to progress to the corner route on the left. This corner route is not like any other corner route, in my opinion. It gets a lot more separation from what I can see as opposed to just a typical corner route. So we can typically, you know, definitely t trust this against man-to-man -man coverage. The next read on this play is going to be the uh, other corner route to Jermichael Finley here. And you're going to see that it's going to do a really good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage again because it's going to match up a tight end on a linebacker, which is going to give us an advantage. All right, guys. And then the last read on this play is going to be this deep, deep uh, post route here to Jordy Nelson. And you see here with a cut to the inside, he's going to be able to beat man coverage as well. And I almost forgot the most important route on this play is actually um, Lacey's route here. When he goes on this, and this is why we want to put him on a swing route before we motion him out. Because against man-to-man -man coverage, he's going to cut back to the inside. So a situation where they may be running max coverage to try to stop the outside routes. Maybe something like this. What that's going to happen is Eddie uh, Lacey's going to cut to the inside and just roast his defender. And with a pass lead down to the inside, we can easily beat man-to-man -man coverage there. And then the last play I want to take a look at from this formation is the X spot. This is uh, going to be ran very similar to the way we like to run the X spot or the Z spot out of the trips. What we're going to do with this play is we're going to put Lacey on a streak. We're going to put... Nelson on a zig, and we're going to put Randall Cobb on a drag. Now we're going to create the same concept that we used earlier, and we're going to also add a little twist. This is a combination of both plays in one. So against man coverage, again, we're going to motion Cobb out one to two, three steps, and then when he cuts to the inside, we're going to pass lead up. He's our first read on this play. All right. Typically, he's going to be open. Our next read is going to be. Jordy Nelson on the zig. 
So you wait to it, and then he cuts underneath. Like typically against um max coverage defenses and stuff like that, he's gonna be open. He just gets open in this system. All right, and then our um excuse me, our third read is gonna be Jones. Cutting to the outside, you see he just gets a lot of separation in this formation for whatever reason. Against man and zone, he should be open. Typically, he's going to be a third read on this play. And then our our fourth read on this play is going to be Jermichael Finley. And against man coverage, when he cuts to the inside here on that double move, he's going to be able to beat man coverage easily. Now, what we also are going to get with this play is a one-on-one -on -one matchup to the outside with our running back. So you can be willing to take advantage or not, but it's just knowing that it's there, just pass lead it to the outside, and he just gets in a tender area the defense doesn't always cover. So that covers all the man-beating stuff we can do from this formation. Real quick, I want to cover a universal thing. Uh, if we put Randall Cobb on a hitch now, motion him to the left about three or four steps, snap, throw, and click on, we're going to be able to make an easy user catch. And this is something I really like to do from this formation a lot. So you'll see me do it from time to time. Uh, just um, motion snap at about about five steps, I'd say, to the outside. And it just works very effectively uh, at beating both man and zone coverages. And then you can mix it in with the draw. You can mix it in with the screen. Uh, or not with the screen, but with the, um, the, the uh, drag route. It's just working. It, it, it complements everything really well. So be sure to use this to your advantage. Another thing you can do, motion snap the flat route outside. Just put him on a flat route, motion him to the left, and then snap throw. It works like a smoke screen. So just keep these ideas in your hot head to mix them with your motion snap drag. And you're going to be beating man and zone coverages from this formation for days. This is one of the best formations in Madden 25, guys. The Indy Bunch, Indy Shotgun Bunch tight end formation out of the Colts playbook. Be sure to give it a look. If you guys have any questions or need any help in Madden 25 specifically, please leave your comment or question in the comment section below this video. Or ask me on Twitter, twitter.com slash maddentips365. Thank you guys so much for taking eight minutes out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to show your support for me by sharing this video on Twitter or liking the video on YouTube. Thank you guys again for your support. If you're new to the YouTube channel and need further help or explanation, please hit me up in the comments or check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.